back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hello, hello. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. How's everybody doing today? How you doing? Good evening. Hey, good evening. How are you? Doing great. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be looking at who can tell me what do you remember from the previous class? <laughs> What do you remember from the previous class? All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the present perfect. About the kind of food that you've eaten and the restaurants that you've visited. You'll also learn how to express past experiences. For example, you'll be able to ask and answer the following question. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Before I present the structure that we'll learn in this class, I would like for you to listen to an audio program. This audio program illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully as I'll ask you questions about the audio program at the end. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Let me present the structure now. I would like to start by presenting this concept to you. The first thing is that we use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. In other words, things that you did and have completed. And we use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present time. In other words, events that you started in the past and those have continued to the present and they're not complete yet. Now, what we're going to learn in today's lesson is how the two are related. First of all, I may ask you a question, such as the one that you see on the example. Have you ever eaten snails? And your answer may be, yes, I have. And when you continue to give more information about your answer, you're going to use the simple past. And you're not going to use the present perfect to continue on giving more information. Because typically what you want to do is you want to express an experience that you had last week about that particular question, right? Such so as the example that we see there. Yes, I have. I tried them last month. And I want you to notice the question towards the bottom, it's no longer in the present perfect, but it is now in the simple past. And that's because we're asking questions about our um, past experience. We're no longer asking questions about um, if you've ever eaten snails. Now, the question is related to uh, the example that you see there, I tried them last month. And the next questions will be related to that event. And so the answer to that is, yes, I did. And then you give more information. They were delicious. And so we do the same thing uh, towards the left, towards, towards the right side of the example of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? We start off the question using the present perfect. And then you continue on and, and you give either a positive or a negative answer. And then in this case, it happens to be a negative answer. No, I haven't. Um, and then you might give more information, but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night, right? Um, and then the next questions that are followed here are in the simple past. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. 
Now that we understand the concept on how this topic is used, what I would like to do now is I would like to explain how to form questions using the present perfect. And, um, and so let me do that at this time. First of all, uh, we should learn the following concept that we're going to use have. Have it's an auxiliary verb. And we're going to use have when I write talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And then I will use has whenever I talk about the pronouns he, she, or it, or in other words, third person, right? Um, and um, so having said this, what I would like to do now is I would like to present the structure on how to form those questions. Let me do that at this time. In order for us to form the questions, the first thing that we should include is an auxiliary have or has, as I mentioned, if we follow this rule, we learned that we're either going to use have if I talk about I, you, we, or they, and we use has whenever we talk about the third person. So in this case, um, we're going to use have, um, and then this follows the subject, then this follows the word ever, and then the verb in its past participle form, and then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever eaten snails? By the way, um, this word here is a frequency adverb, so sometimes you can remove it, um, and um, the question will still be correct. But in this case, we want to use it. Have you ever eaten snails? Um, and what I mentioned was that you can either answer this question with a positive response, such as, yes, I have, or this could be a negative response, such as, no, I haven't. And so just so that we can see clearly what's happening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the colors at this time. All right, there we go. So have you ever eaten snails? And it's the same thing um, for our next question. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? So let's do that one as well. So I'm going to use have. This follows the subject. And then we're using the word ever. So we use the verb to be in this case in the past participle form. And then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? And then once again, the answer to that particular question can be, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And what I would like for you to notice now is how we respond to that kind of question, right? I mentioned that we can either have a positive response to that question, either yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And then this next sentence, we're typically going to follow with a simple past statement. And the reason is because um, I'm going to talk about my experience in the past. So in this case, I'm going to say I tried them last month. So this statement here basically talks about that past experience that I had, which is related to this topic, right? So have you ever eaten snails? And my, my answer to that question is, yes, I have. I tried them last month, so I, I'm using the simple past. And um, now, the next questions that you see there, which is what I mentioned earlier, are in the simple past. Did you like them? Now, all of the questions are related to this event that you see here, right? It's no longer this question that you're answering. You're answering the next question. I tried them last month. So you want more information about this event from last month. Did you like them? And as you can see, the answer, yes, I did. They were delicious. And we can see the same example towards the right side of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Well, the answer to that question is, no, I haven't. But I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. The next question that is asked here has to do with this answer. I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Oh, did you go alone? Um, this question refers to the person going to that Thai restaurant last night. And he answers, no, I went with some friends. So as you can see, we use a combination of both the present perfect and the simple past to talk about things that you either started in the past, continue the present. And then when you want to go into talking about a past experience, that's when we use the simple past. 
So let's see if we can do a couple of more questions. Um, have you ever try sushi? How would you respond to that question? Well, typically most people have, so most people will say yes, I have. And so tell me about that experience. Okay? So if you're going to tell me about that experience, then that's when we're, whenever we're going to use the um, simple past. So how would you tell me about that past experience? Well, have you ever tried sushi? Yes, I have. I um, ate sushi last month. Oh, sorry. I ate sushi last month. Oh, really? And then whenever you start talking about that past experience, the next questions that will follow will be in the simple past. Did you like did you like it? Now, how would you respond to that? Well, you can you can respond to that by answering yes, I did or no, I didn't. I thought it was great. Or, I didn't like it. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer the following questions. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Have you ever visited Europe? Have you ever eaten exotic food? Um, as you answer these questions, what I would like for you to do is to answer the question with either yes, I have, and then I want you to tell me that past experience. So similar to the examples that we see on the chart, let's say the question is, have you ever eaten Mexican food? And let's say that your answer is, yes, I have. Then you will tell me where and how did you like it so as you can see what I'm trying to get to is that you give me your response and then you give me information about that particular past event and that's what I would like for you to do for all of those questions there Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll be able to talk about the kind of food that you've eaten and the restaurants that you've visited. You'll also learn how to express past experiences. For example, you'll be able to ask and answer the following question. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Before I present the structure that we'll learn in this class, I would like for you to listen to an audio program. This audio program illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully as I'll ask you questions about the audio program at the end. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Let me present the structure now. I would like to start by presenting this concept to you. The first thing is that we use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. In other words, things that you did and have completed. And we use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present time. In other words, events that you started in the past and those have continued to the present and they're not complete yet. Now, what we're going to learn in today's lesson is how the two are related. First of all, I may ask you a question, such as the one that you see on the example. Have you ever eaten snails? And your answer may be, yes, I have. And when you continue to give more information about your answer, you're going to use 
the simple pass and you're not going to use the present perfect to continue on giving more information because typically what you want to do is you want to express an experience that you had last week about that particular question, right? Such as the example that we see there. Yes, I have. I tried him last month. And I want you to notice the question towards the bottom. It's no longer in the present perfect, but it is now in the simple past. And that's because we're asking questions about our um, past experience. We're no longer asking questions about um, if you've ever eaten snails. Now, the question is related to uh, the example that you see there. I tried him last month. And the next questions will be related to that event. And so the answer to that is, yes, I did. And then you give more information. They were delicious. And so we do the same thing uh, towards the left, towards, towards the right side of the example of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? We start off the question using the present perfect. And then you continue on and, and you give either a positive or a negative answer. And then in this case, it happens to be a negative answer. No, I haven't. Um, and then you might give more information. But I ate at a Thai restaurant last night, right? Um, and then the next questions that are followed here are in the simple past. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. Now that we understand the concept on how this topic is used, what I would like to do now is I would like to explain how to form questions using the present perfect. And, um, and so let me do that at this time. First of all, uh, we should learn the following concept that we're going to use have. Have it's an auxiliary verb. And we're going to use have whenever I talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And then I will use has whenever I talk about the pronouns he, she, or it, or in other words, third person, right? Um, and um, so having said this, what I would like to do now is I would like to present the structure on how to form those questions. Let me do that at this time. In order for us to form the questions, the first thing that we should include is an auxiliary have or has, as I mentioned, if we follow this rule, we learned that we're either going to use have if I talk about I, you, we, or they, and we use has whenever we talk about the third person. So in this case, um, we're going to use have, um, and then this follows the subject. Then this follows the word ever, and then the verb in its past participle form, and then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever eaten snails? By the way, um, this word here is a frequency adverb, so sometimes you can remove it, um, and um, the question will still be correct. But in this case, we want to use it. Have you ever eaten snails? Um, and what I mentioned was that you can either answer this question with a positive response, such as, yes, I have, or this could be a negative response, such as, no, I haven't. And so just so that we can see clearly what's happening. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the colors at this time. All right, there we go. So have you ever eaten snails? And it's the same thing um, for our next question. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? So let's do that one as well. So I'm going to use have. This follows the subject. And then we're using the word ever. So we use the verb to be in this case in the past participle form. And then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? And then once again, the answer to that particular question can be yes, I have or no, I haven't. And what I would like for you to notice now is how we respond to that kind of question, right? I mentioned that we can either have a positive response to that question either yes I have or no I haven't and then this next sentence we're typically going to follow with a simple past statement and the reason is because um, I'm going to talk about my experience in the past so in this case I'm going to say I tried them last month so this statement here basically talks about that 
past experience that I had, which is related to this topic, right? So have you ever eaten snails? And my, my answer to that question is, yes, I have. I tried them last month. So I, I'm using the simple past. And um, now the next questions that you see there, which is what I mentioned earlier, are in the simple past. Did you like them? Now all of the questions are related to this event that you see here, right? It's no longer this question that you're answering. You're answering the next question. I tried them last month. So you want more information about this event from last month. Did you like them? And as you can see the answer, yes, I did. They were delicious. And we can see the same example towards the right side of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Well, the answer to that question is no, I haven't. But I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. The next question that is asked here has to do with this answer. I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Oh, did you go alone? Um, this question refers to the person going to that Thai restaurant last night. And he answers, no, I went with some friends. So as you can see, we use a combination of both the present perfect and the simple past to talk about things that you either started in the past, continue the present. And then when you want to go into talking about a past experience, that's when we use the simple past. So let's see if we can do a couple of more questions. Um, have you ever tried sushi? How would you respond to that question? Well, typically most people have, so most people will say, yes, I have. And so tell me about that experience, okay? So if you're going to tell me about that experience, then that's when we're, whenever we're going to use the um, simple past. So how would you tell me about that past experience? Well, have you ever tried sushi? Yes, I have. I um, ate sushi last month. Oh, sorry. I ate sushi last month. Oh, really? And then whenever you start talking about that past experience, the next questions that will follow will be in the simple past. Did you like did you like it? Now, how would you respond to that? Well, you can you can respond to that by answering yes, I did or no, I didn't. I thought it was great. Or, I didn't like it. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer the following questions. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Have you ever visited Europe? Have you ever eaten exotic food? Okay, guys, I want you to notice that when you say, have you ever, is not for something that is common or every day. For example, have you ever been to a picnic? at the beach is that common do you do that every day do you do that every weekend do you just say no. hey guys let's go to a picnic at the beach <laughs> no of course not people go to a picnic at the park maybe if you are in a mountain or a volcano you picnic with your family in a cabin in the forest. You know, that's normal. You camp, you picnic, you have sandwiches and fruit and listen to music. But at the beach, do you picnic at the beach? Is that normal? What about... Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Or have you ever eaten Italian food? Have you ever eaten Japanese food? 
have you ever eaten Russian food? Have you ever eaten Arabic food? I have eaten Arabic food uh, myself. It's very spicy. I have eaten African-American food. Uh, my father, he was married with an African-American. Mm -hmm. Things like that. Things that are not normal, things that are not common, things that are not like your everyday. Have you ever visited Europe? Have you ever visited South America? Have you ever visited Alaska? Have you ever visited Antarctica? Have you ever visited the Caribbean, right? Exotic places. What is the most exotic thing that you can remember? What is the most exotic thing that you can remember? Or have you ever, sorry about that, okay, have you ever seen a UFO? <clears throat> Have you ever seen a UFO? Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. So we use the present perfect for situations that are not everyday, not common. Have you ever is a good icebreaker? Um, for example, if you go to a conference in another country or... You are in a class with new people, or you are in a gym and you're a new member. Have you ever? It's like a it's like a icebreaker, right? Hey, have you ever seen a UFO? Hey, have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Hey, have you ever eaten Arabic food? Hey, have you ever visited? Alaska, you know, and then people say, yes, I have. No, I have it. Oh, <clears throat> really? You haven't. Why not? Just didn't think about it. Why you didn't think about it? It's nice. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Yes, I have. Oh, me too. Nice. What did you eat? Well, you know, we had meat, chicken. I did the barbecue. And that's a true story, guys. That's a true story. I actually, uh, my my brother came from the United States, Houston. And we actually, him, I, and my father, us three, we went and we had a hotel. We were at a hotel in La Costa del Sol. And I actually built a uh, picnic stove, if you want to call it that. Um, I got a whole bunch of rocks and bricks and I built a, a stove. And uh, my intelligent way, the way that I am, you know, I put a grill in the car, but just the grill. And I pulled the grill out and put it right there. And I did, I actually cooked everything while my dad and my brother were partying I was actually cooking everything you know they didn't help me and uh I actually we actually had a picnic at the beach and then a guy walked past me and to the beach and he was doing like UFO fighting uh UFC fighting with his son uh, right there in front of the beach in front of me so I was like this guy, look at him. So I started doing push-ups and lifting up bricks. And then when he came close to me, he was like, Mr. Santos? And I said, 
what? I knew him. I knew him. He was my student um, from like many years before. And he looked very different. And we started talking and I introduced him to my brother, my father. It was a, it was a great experience. Vividly, I can remember that day. All right. Anyway, all right, guys. So have you ever is used for breaking the ice? So right now, what I want you to do is I want you to uh, ask each other questions uh, in regards to your experiences in your life, in regards to, you know, meeting new people, um, if you have ever been like at a conference, you know, things like that. I'm going to share with you some questions. Have you ever? And I want you to practice the questions. Oh, I like this one. Have you ever? <laughs> Have you ever driven an 18-wheeler? <laughs> that was nice. All right, so I'm going to share it in the WhatsApp because I can't share it in the Zoom because it says that my message is too long. Um, does anybody have any questions right now? Do you guys have any questions in regards to the topic? Have you ever, do you have any questions about that? Any questions, somebody? No, teacher. Okay. So um, basically, have you ever is a good way to break the ice, right? Question, teacher. A question. Teacher, teacher, teacher. I have a question. Okay. A little bit. Uh, very, right. Yes. Really, uh, Past participle. Past participle, correct. The verb is in the past participle. Have you, yes. you have you have the auxiliary have, mm -hmm. and then we have the subject you, and then ever, which is a time reference, and then the strange experience. The For strange example, experience. it may be not strange, but not normal, you know? Um, for example, for example, my father came to visit me one day here in San Salvador, and I took him to, I don't know if you're familiar with the restaurant El Sopón de la Sacamil. More or less. Uh-huh. So I took him to El Sopón de la Sacamil, and do you know what he ordered? I know all their sopón. Garrobo. Soup. He ordered consume de garrobo. Wow. <clears throat> you know? It already exists the uh, sopón de la pacamil. Uh, yes. It, yeah. Ahí lo llevé. Let's see. That's where, that's where I took him. Oh, that's good. I, I don't have idea. It already exists. Yeah. 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 It's right there. It's nice. It's nice. And... And that's what he ordered. So if I ask my father, hey, my father, have you ever eaten garrobo soup? <laughs> He's going to say yes. I, I right? don't remember. You don't remember? No. Not Maybe me. never. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I have eaten, me personally, with my mouth, I have eaten rattlesnake. Uh, because in Texas, rattlesnake is very common. Uh, Culebra de cascabel. I have eaten deer, venado, Did buffalo. You in Texas? I lived in Texas all my life. For many years. All my life. All my life. All my life. I lived in Texas, Houston. Why do you come back here? Because this is the best country 
in the world. But the, the salary is very, very low. Well, that's relative. Uh, in my case, I do real estate. Uh, wow, real estate. Uh -huh, that's my, that's what I do. My, my, my area is real estate. Um, oh. mm -hmm. Embargo hipotecarios, that's what we do. So, and no, El Salvador is a beautiful country. I love El Salvador. I will yeah. never leave El Salvador. For what? Uh, man, maybe I'll go to Hawaii to visit. Yes, Hawaii. Or, or Miami or Galveston Beach. The, the beach in Miami, very good. Yeah, yeah. But just, you know, just to visit. But I love El Salvador. In, in my opinion, this country is beautiful. The people are beautiful. The culture is beautiful. The landscape is beautiful. The weather is beautiful. Why would I leave? Yes. People are fighting to be citizens of El Salvador. I'm in Bitcoin country. You hear me? Worldwide. That's international. Come on. Maybe, but you maybe you ne never in front with Mara. Well, thank God that doesn't exist anymore. That's a past. That's that's what you call the past. Now it's a different world. Now, yeah, now a different world. Okay. Now you are with Europeans, Italians, yes. French. You're yes. with Russians, Dominican Republicans, Colombians. It's a different, it's a different country. It's a new country. It's a good country. It's the best country. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to share with you the questions and I want you to practice the questions. Did everybody receive the questions in the WhatsApp? Yes. All right. I want you to practice the questions in pairs. Are you ready? Okay. Are you ready? Yes. All right, let's do it. Are you ready, teacher? All right, let's do it. Have you ever appreciated a sunset? Hola. Hi. Hola. Who is begin? Who begin? Okay. Okay. Have you ever appreciated a sunset? Yes, I uh, yes I have. I appreciate a sunset. Okay, were you alone or with someone special? I. Uh, I don't have. Okay. Have you ever been a guest at surprise party? I don't remember if I don't or I have or I didn't have. Okay. Uh, I think is I have. Okay. Uh, I have 
What is next question? Wow, it's in, it's Has anyone question. ever throw a surprise a surprise party for you? Anyone town? Uh, town is, excuse me. Sorry? Uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, there is anywhere this is anywhere from town. Do you know Traun? Traun is from Traun. Ah, okay. Have you ever, have you ever uh, thrown a surplus party for you? No, I don't. No, I haven't. Okay. Have you ever been in a feast fight? Mm -hmm. Fist fight, fist fight. Fist es puño, pelea de puño. Ah, I don't have it. No, I don't, I don't have. Okay. I haven't, excuse me, I haven't. Mm -hmm. I have not. Okay, uh, next. Have you ever been to, thea to a theater? I don't know what do you say. Yeah, theater. Theater. Uh, I haven't. I haven't. Also, it's feeling theater. I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay. Have you ever broken a bone? Quebrar un hueso. Quebradura. Yes, I have. Have you ever broken up with someone? Have you ever broken with someone? Broken with broken with someone? Broken. Broken. Romper con alguien. Uh, I I have I have. Yes, I have. Um. Have you ever called your boyfriend, your boyfriend or girlfriend by the wrong name? <laughs> no, I haven't. I have no. I have. Um, Hi everyone. By the end of this class, we'll be able to talk about and the rest of us keep busy. You also learn how to express mm -hmm. past experiences. Uh, example, have you past. ever called your girlfriend or boyfriend honey? Uh, I, no, I haven't. Have you ever changed your appearance a lot in a short time? No, I haven't. For example, hair or tail, hair color or weight? No, I haven't. Have you ever che cheated on an exam? What is cheating? I think it's copiar, pero ah, engañar. Es, es uh -huh. eh, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever cried in a public and embarrassed? Embarrassed yourself? Has llorado en público? Sí, sí. No, I haven't. Have you ever cried for no reason and felt good because of it? I haven't. I think the answer is I have or or or, or I haven't with a complete um, for example um have you ever date a relative by accident um no I haven't no I, have. I haven't no I haven't I, yes yes mm -hmm. no I haven't 
Have you ever done something silly that you wish you had not done? Uh, no sé yes, I have. Have you ever tried a nice sport car? Silly is algo tonto. Silly. Silly. Silly, algo tonto. Are you algo tonto? Please, no ver lo hecho. Buenas noches. Permítame. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Perdón, perdón. Ya voy, ya voy. Hello. Hello. I return. Um, the last one is, have you ever driven a truck? I haven't. Okay. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay. These are all, all questions. Mm -hmm. If you want, can you question me? Okay. Okay. Um, uh, have you ever driving a truck? Sorry? Have you ever driving a truck? A truck? Have you ever? Driving? Driving a truck? Yes. N no, I haven't. I don't, I don't, I don't drive a truck. Are you ever driving a sport car? No, I haven't. I I haven't. Have you ever done something silly that you wish you had not done? Mm, I think I haven't. What? I haven't. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Ah, okay. No, I haven't. Uh, have you ever dated a relative with accident? By accident? No, I haven't any accident. Uh, have you ever dated someone who didn't like you? No, I haven't. Have you ever dated someone from another race, culture, or religion? No, I haven't. Have you ever cried for no reason and felt good because of it? Yes, I have. Have you uh, have you ever cheated on an exam? All right, guys, we're going to change partners. Change partners. Se me fue la luz. <risa> cool. Está lloviendo acá. Hey, cool, cool. All right, we're going to change partners. We're going to change partners. Vamos a cambiar pareja. One second, one second. Any questions, any questions? Teacher. Yes. Este, yo no sé, desde hace dos días, mm -hmm. uh, o creo que ayer comenzó, estoy teniendo problemas para ingresar a las salas. Oh, eh, really? eh, me quedo, solo dice conectando y ahí se queda. Ok, ok, ok. Um, mm -hmm. ¿Alguien más está teniendo el mismo problema? A mí ayer me pasó. A mí hoy también me pasó. Yo también. Ok, ok. okay. Um, quisiera Solo que... Yo. <laughs> Solo cuando llueve yo. Solo cuando llueve Ok, ok. Yeah. No, está bueno. Um, 
um, podemos hacer una o dos cosas. Una, hacer como reesfuerzo. Eh, usted me escribe en WhatsApp y le doy reesfuerzo. O dos. Bueno, eso ya sería ir un técnico ahí a ver el aparato. Pero podemos hacer one or two. Um, I can give you, if you want, like, for example, you know, teacher, you know, you said that you wanted to talk about, have you ever, um, but, you know, my internet connection was not connecting, but this is my exercise or an audio. Hi, um, this is me. Uh, and then I'll give you your observations. Uh, we can do that too. Is that okay? Is that yes, okay? It's a good, it's, it's okay. good idea. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because a lot of times it's the rain, it's raining. Um, it is what it is. We just got to work with it. That's all. All right, let's change partners. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, yes. Yes, I'm ready. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Los que se quedan en la sala principal eh, pueden practicar aquí. Eh, eh, Jacqueline, Leana, Wendy, Claudia, Roberto. Pueden practicar juntos aquí. You can practice right here. Yo los estoy escuchando. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Jacqueline, Roberto, Isabo, Elizabeth, Jacqueline, Claudia, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Practice, practice, practice. Remember, rule number one, rule number one, exercise. Rule number two, exercise. Rule number three, exercise. So right now, this is exercise. Practice, practice, practice. Okay. 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 It's only me. I'm only listening. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, so have you ever appreciated a sunset? Yes, I have. Were you alone or with someone special? Yes, I have. I'll be with someone special and I'll be there with my family and without my family. Nice. Have you ever been a guest at a surprise party? Yes, I have. Has anyone ever thrown a surprise party for you? Mm, yes, I have. Okay. Have you ever been in a in a first fight? On a fight, I guess. No, I haven't. It's out. Have you ever been on TV? Yes, I have. Have you ever been to a theater? Yes, I have. Okay. Have you ever broken a bone? Yes, I have. And have you ever broken up with someone? No, I haven't. Nice. 
Nice. Si quiero ahora cambiamos los roles. Usted me pregunta y yo respondo. Voy a continuar a donde usted se quedó y luego le voy a seguir preguntando. Ah, está bien, está bien, está bien. Sí. Have you ever called your boyfriend or your girlfriend by the wrong name? No, I have. Have you ever called your girl? Oh, you better have not. You ever called your... <laughs> yes. <laughs> you better. You better not. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Have you ever called your girlfriend or boyfriend, honey? Yes, I have. Your boyfriend? No. <laughs> no. Have you ever changed changed your operands a lot in a short time? No, I have. Um, have you ever cheated on an exam? Yes, I have. Have you ever cried in public and embarrassed yourself? No, I have. Have you ever cried for no reason and felt good because of it? No, I haven't. Have you ever dated someone from another rare culture or religion? No, I haven't. Have you ever dated someone who don't like you? No, I haven't. Have you ever day a relative by an accident? Unfortunately, uh, no. No, I haven't. Have you ever done something silly that you wish you had not done? Yes, I have. Have you ever drive a sport car? No, no, I haven't. I'm sorry. Uh, have you ever drive a sports car? Sports no, car. Yeah. Have you ever driven a truck? No, I haven't. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What else we what we can do? For this exercise, what well, what else? I I no. know what you can do. Have you ever tried it, uh, sushi or other sake food? Sake food. I have. Yes, I have. Yes. I tried it. I tried. Um, I like. Um. Uh, how do you use uh, mojarra rellena with um from this is from the snails? <laughs> yeah. Nice. yeah. Let me see. Have you ever been in a concert or? Yes, I have. Place. Yes, I have. I've been, I've been watching and seeing with um, All right, all right. Time's up, time's up, time's up. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna stop right here and we will see you tomorrow. Teacher, attendance. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. I am here, teacher. I got it. I got it. Yeah, Carlos. Hey, Carlos. How you doing? Carlos Martinez. Present. Yes, teacher. Very good. Thank you, Carlos Martinez. Present. I'm here, teacher. teacher. Hey, Claudia. 
Claudia Garcia, welcome. Hi, present. No, I got it. I got the attendance. Um, I got it. Good night, teacher. All right. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yeah, teacher. 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 Sí, 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 Bye. 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 Oh, I got it. I see you. I see you. I see you. <laughs> see you. I, I call All you. Right. What's up, teacher? All right. All right. Good. Good. Thank you. All right. Thank Talk you. to you later. Talk to you later. Have a good Thank night. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. See good you. Good night, night teacher. Ahorita voy a pedir mama chus. Yes, teacher. That's right. Right now. That's, yeah. Good, teacher. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher.